Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks and to another open with me. And I have to say, it feels like forever since I've done one of these. Um, and that's because the whole month of January was missing. I didn't um, find any magazines and uh, my subscriptions had run out and so none were sent. So let's have a look. This is Inside Crochet and we've got this free gift which will come to at the end so then let's have a little looky just bear with me one sec that's better i just needed to get my glasses so what have we got new yarns books and trends for spring spring projects for creative crocheters uh inside crochet.co.uk a baby bear cocoon pretty patch throw contented mug cozy We've got a loop stitch bag, which looks a bit messy to me. Leopard bed socks, snuggle up shawl, and the winter cheer, chunky yarns, big hooks, and nurturing makes. Unicorns forever. A unicorn, it's a child basically, with a horn on its head. Not this kind of unicorn, unicorn I'm used to seeing. I was gonna say usual unicorn, but they come out as unicorn. Anywho, we've also got this little rug. So, um, wrap, waistcoat, soft baby blanket and chunky scarf with rainbow wrap, complete colour pack. I don't see a colour pack, so it must be that you send off for it. Okay, so we won't bother with the beginning pages. These are all the um, little tiny thumbnail pictures of the makes that are in this magazine, which um, I find too small to really even give any um, credence to so we'll move straight on and in this book you normally get all the bits and bobs at the at the beginning and then you get I'm just going to move my tea then you get the patterns at the end so we've got magical mohair by Coco I can't really go near that it's 13 pounds wow not cheap but I can't use it anyway um doesn't look like a very big ball either Looks like a tiny ball. A taste of tartan. These are just really adverts and little um, editorials. Um, in the spotlight, what have we got? Bag it up. The Ag Oakley Hope basket. And chunky look, soft, versatile and beautiful, bulky new Rico Design Essentials. I quite like Rico Design yarn when I get it. Uh, what we got here? uh looks like button up uh these pretty hand embroidered buttons and cute mittens i don't think they're in this magazine though uh, we've got patterned hooks and an editorial here about rosina north cot uh, who's zine sandroga whatever that at zine sandroga okie dokie Baby, it's cold outside, so we look like we're making shells. Doesn't necessarily kind of flow. I feel like I'm really zoomed, but I don't believe I'm zoomed. Nope, not at all. Food for thought, they always give you a recipe, and this is tender stem broccoli, cashew, and sun-dried tomato pasta. Now, there's a combination. Just adverts now. And is that two pages? No, we've got some books. Crochet Stitch Sampler Baby Blanket. I like to call them textured blankets myself. Just gonna have a quick slurp of tea. If you didn't know, today is the 16th of February, it's my birthday. So um, happy birthday to me. And now we'll move on. Learn a Stitch Crochet Scarves. So I'm not sure if you can see that very well. Let's move my tea again. Let's see if we can't zoom in on this. There we go. Not really. See, the pictures are so small that you can't really see what you're looking at. Amigurumi Farmyard and Modern Wrap Shawls. These are books. And then um, Amigurumi Farmyard is $7.99. The scarves are $6.99. And the Modern Crocheted Shawls and Wraps are $14.99. And all um, but the Annie's crochet scarves are in UK terminology. The scarves are in US. So it's not that difficult to switch from one to the other. 
Um, we've got some mosaic crochet by the looks of it here. Beautiful blankets. They're not mag they're not in this magazine. They're just kind of showing you where you can go to to find them, but you probably have to pay. Quick slurp of tea. And this is month of February. I don't know what happened to January's magazine. I looked in the shops quite often and I found nothing. So I don't know if it's because they didn't really make so many thinking that people wouldn't be buying them. But um, I couldn't find one anywhere. So we've got adverts again. I don't like that. I don't, you know, when you buy an ad a magazine and all you get are adverts and adverts and adverts, you're just paying to go lots of adverts. Now this reminds me of a blanket that I've made though mine isn't just purely granny stitch it's um a gray and white one that i keep saying i'm going to do a tutorial for it and i will this is indigo greens dreams crochet along by jane crowfoot actually you can see that there are squares that are half and half and some of these are stripy and then there's these flowery ones it's quite pretty but um i don't know what part we're up to it's a style craft crochet along, so it's probably not in this magazine anyway. Oh, I think it might be here. They're showing you how to do the rosewood motif love hearts granny blanket. I don't know what part it is. Does it say? You think it would? Maybe it's part one. I don't know. Having missed last week month, I don't know if it is or not. So it's quite on a few pages that one and there's lots of it look at that wow lots of pages of that crochet along so we've got the cozy up keep warm and woolly this winter in our selection of stylish and snuggly fashion accessories so we've got a shawl which kind of they always show wearing back to front loop nest jacket which is this big baggy cardigan um I'm not really keen on the rustic way it's put together. I think that's a good word for it. And we've got one that's got a bit of a sheepy bottom, which, um, I don't know, it's just row after row of UK trebles or US double crochets. And we all know how I feel about those if you've been on my channel for a while. And this is this loopy bag. It's, um, I don't know, a bit messy for me. You know, I, don't, I like things to have kind of a purpose. What have we got here? Um, don't tell me. What does it say on the other pa page? Let's see. Flower scarf. That's a freeform flower scarf by Tracy Todd Hunter using Stylecraft Special XL. And the pattern's on page 68. So these are all the ones that are in the book. And these are the socks that we saw on the front page that are kind of animal print. Now that's kind of nice. I like that. This is a cosy cable blanket by Emma Leith using Rico Design Essentials Mega Wool Chunky. That is nice, I like that. It's kind of got that, um, that look, you know, crossover design. What am I trying to say? Uh, like cable, that's the word, cable. And the, oh, Cerise Wrap Waistcoat. So it's a waistcoat that ties up like a wrap. And that's um, on page 50. We'll come up to that. Another advert for yarn. And the Karen Simply Soft Humongous Scarf advert. Hearth and Home. Stylish collection of accessories and homewares to snuggle up through the colder months. Very mild today. Went out to the shops and um, I didn't even need a jacket. It was like um, like an overcast summer's day, I'd say, or spring. And very nice. So here's that opened up. Let's see if that floats your boat at all. And we've got a loopier one over on this page. Trying not to knock my tea off. I normally get my magazine in the whole shop, but it seems like <laughs> the whole thing's a bit too big. So this is the bear kind of snuggle thing for baby. We've got a baby blanket. And the unicorn person. That was a sound effect from Fluffy. Thank you very much. And we've got a cushion. 
and things about local yarn shops make it crochet make it your pattern instructions start here cool so what have we got we got that cardigan i don't like the baggy sleeves and the way that it's joined it looks a little like there's a few mistakes along there that i don't particularly like the look of but you know if rustic is your thing then that'll be good for you and now i don't know how to say that Swarzy, so, so, whatever it is, waistcoat wrap thing or wrap waistcoat. It's a nice tight pattern. Um, there's that going for it, and um, I'm not sure if I like to tie it up, but it you know it's different. And this is the loop nest jacket. I'm not keen. If this was a tighter stitch with a little bit of something going through it maybe just a a little difference i might like it but i don't like row after row like that as we all know so what we got here the shell foraging shawl so that's both sides so this is where she's turned it round and using it as kind of a scarf and there's the shawl looks nice and simple to make though i have to say and that goes over a few pages and here we've got the socks i've not made socks never these are slipper socks so they're not like tight or anything and this is the chart for the furry patch bag which um there it is it's got a bit of fur i've actually made a th few things with fur attached to them myself recently and i was thinking of turning it into a bag well i might do that um, I have to line it first. I was going to make it for Gemma because Gemma's the sort of... It looks like a Gemma thing. Just look at it and it says, I, I belong to Gemma. This is the freeform flower scarf. So just basically attaching lots of flowers together. And there's all the instructions on how to make them. This is the one I really like though. The cosy cable blanket. Whether I'd make it or not is another matter, but I do like it. It's it's quite up my street that one and she's using it to wrap, her, wrap it around herself but that is a nice big blanket looks very warm and cozy and uh and there's the chart for that as well and all the instructions going over a few pages and adverts this is the mm, cozy mug which you see on the previous page where she had her blanket a lot of instructions for a little mug i have to say so what have we got here Digital subscriptions start from as little as nineteen ninety nine for six months for this. But I don't think digital subscriptions will give you any free gifts. Maybe the little booklets, I don't know, I've never had it. Never done one to find out. This is the... Oh, why do they call these things such weird names? Now, I'm going to hide the pattern, but look. Hig or Icked rug what just call it something understandable it's a rug um moving on the cocoon bubble cushion a cocoon bubble cushion here it is there's the cocoon bubble cushion shows you how to make that um got more adverts with more wall shops harmony wrap so that looks quite nice quite a simple pattern though um, that is just a couple of trebles in a space, you know. So that should be quite simple to make. Cozy up doll with a spike on her head. I know a little girl would quite like that, I guess. And there's all the detailed instructions on how to do that. So what's this? Ethelin Dreams Blanket. Again, same sort of pattern. Just two uk trebles or us doubles and a space but we've got a few rows of other stitches i often find that though don't you that they the pictures that are in they kind of all seem very samey but this has got a kind of a well that looks a really random pattern but it obviously isn't it's designed to be that way so at least this has got something else breaking it up but yeah i have to have something for beginners now this is the dotty vest and I quite like this. A lot of people don't like working with fur. I don't mind it. I've worked with fur quite a bit. 
And I know that that would be a cool little thing for Sophia or River. They'd like that. Well, my and Mummy would. So what have we got here? Subscribe today and receive the Stunning Mosaic Crochet Workshop for free. I was just having a slurp. A free book worth fifteen ninety nine. For 12 months, you'll receive each issue for £2.40 less than the cover price with free postage and packing and you'll get this mosaic workshop for free. So whether you fancy that or not. So do what do you have to do? Subscribe by post or you fill out the form. So subscribe by telephone. I'll hold that there. So if any of you want to do the telephone number, then you can, whether you fancy subscribing. Well, this is the cocoon. I've made one of these. Not, not exactly the same as this, but the one I made was a Pokemon one for Tyler. And I was going to make one similar to this for, um, for Charlotte when she was pregnant, but I made so many blankets. But this is called Baby Bear Sleeping Bag. It's kind of cute. It's got a little hood. There's the detailed instructions for that one. And how to crochet. We've got all the how-tos now. How to get started, the basics, the main stitches, counting chains, etc. A couple of stitches. Um, fastening off, shaping and colour, changing colours. All the bits and bobs. If you can learn by a few diagrams, then, you know, good on you. But I don't think that's very easy at all. So we've got some more books on this page. Learn to Crochet Project, which is this one. And that doesn't say how much it is. Yes, it does. £12. And Crochet Home, twelve ninety nine. And we've got You Will Be Able to Crochet by the End of This Book for fourteen ninety nine. And then we've got all the abbreviations, breaking the language barrier between US terms and UK. And that's it. So that's the book. Let's see what the gift is all about, shall we? Right, we've got beautiful shawls. Well, I like a beautiful shawl. I'm just going to finish my tea. It was on the last bit. Okay, so beautiful shawls. And um, let's have a look. See which one I quite fancy. Now, straight away, I'm not into pointy ones, but I like this one a little bit better. Although it does look very simple. That one looks nice. I'm not sure about the edging. But, um, yeah, let's get in. Let's have a looky. So this is a better picture of that one. Looks like it's made in hexagons. Sort of thing. Uh what's it say lord i lorelei lorelei i would say statement shawl with fabulous drape texture that's the one i said that i quite liked on the main cover lorelei there's the back that's actually quite pretty and we've got puffed feathers so that's more kind of a, a wrap i would say and although we'll have to see the back to see if it is a wrap or a shawl no, it's pointy, isn't it? Um, oh, no, maybe not. Here's the back. It's more of a wrap, but it does have pointy, pointy at the bottom. So um, I'm being careful not to show the whole pattern, as I've been asked to. Spring filet wrap. So let's go up a little bit. Let's see the picture. As you can see, remember Vision Net. It reminds me of that. There's another bigger picture. And I'm not sure if I would have chose... That colour with the green, though. But, you know, I think I might have chosen a nice cream colour. Well, not an ice cream, nice cream colour. Here's the one that we saw at the beginning. This is called the Forest Shawl. And I like this. Oh, it's actually, looking at it this in this picture, you can see it's like leaves. I thought it looked like hexagons, but it's actually leaves. So... There we go. And this is, it is actually a hexagon, if you look at it. And then we've got the Lunar Shawl, which is this one. Stylish lace shawl design combines popcorns 
with long chains and colourful border. So that's quite nice. It reminds me, do you remember you get those pom-pom blankets for children? And that kind of reminds me of that in a way. Well, it's not pom-pom, of course. And then we've got this one, Urban Landscape Shawl. So that's nice and tight, this one. Um, inspired by the old rusty corrugated panels that are used on fencing and building sites. Well, that's a strange inspiration for a shawl. But, yeah. but it is, um, nevertheless, quite nice. So there they are, all six of those. Although I feel like there was more than six in the book. Okay, let me know what one you like. If you think those... I quite like this one now. Now I've seen them up close and personal. I still quite like the look. I don't think I'd have chose these colours. Um, but this one has got a bit of potential for things. So, thank you for watching. And uh, it's been a while. I'm a little rusty. Maybe I am. Let me know if you think I am. So that is the inside crochets. Stay tuned. Watch out for Simply Crochet, which I've also got. Um, those are the only two magazines that I've found recently. Unless I do another subscription, I think my um, uptake on the magazines is going to be a little bit sporadic. But um, I'll see. I'll see what I can do. Try and be a bit more consistent. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. Take care. And I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.